Well, hello there, my cappies. I'm Annette. This is Intuitive Astrology and Tarot by Annette. Welcome back and welcome to all my new subscribers. Um, this is going to be a general love reading. Um, it's for Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp through the middle of October 2019. Please like, share, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell on the side and leave your positive comments and feedback down below. If you want to book a private reading with me, the link to my website where you can select purchase and schedule your appointment is going to be in the description box below the video along with the link to my GoFundMe account for those of you who wish to donate towards my upcoming eye surgeries. And I want to thank everyone who's been um, you know, just supporting me and my work and this channel for all of your donations, for all of your positive energy. Um, thank you guys so much. I truly love what I do and I could not um, be on this journey without you guys. So thanks a lot. Um, I myself have Capricorn Moon in my chart. I'm a Cancer Sun, Leo Rising, and Venus. So, um, our moon sign relates to how we deal with emotional things, our emotional state. So, um, you know, Capricorns are very loyal, loving, steady. Um, they don't trust easily, but once they do trust, um, they're very loyal. They're like the Ward Cleaver of the universe. All right, we're going to pull an overall energy message now. Because I'm a psychic medium, I just want to remind you guys, I could be picking up past, present, or future energies. Not all of the messages are going to resonate with every single person watching. And the stories can be flipped around. It could be you or the person that you're dealing with or neither one of you could be for somebody else out here. So always keep an open mind when you're, um, you know, receiving spiritual messages and working with the paranormal, esoteric, magical realms. So let's see what's going on in your overall energy for the next couple of weeks, Capricorn. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Cusp. Seduction, passion, and romance await. Ooh la la. Somebody's feeling lucky. Gorgeous, darling. Somebody is a little vixen. Feeling foxy. Foxy lady. Foxy dude. All right, let's see what's going on in the love department for my beautiful Capricorn. Sun, moon, rising, Venus, or cuss. Please, Spirit, what does Capricorn need to know about their love and relationships through October 15th, 2019? General love reading, please, for Capricorn. Okay, off the bottom of the deck, you've got the Three of Cups, parties, celebrations, get-togethers, reunions, two becoming one. Could be a wedding or a baptism. Um, it's the start of something new, a reunion. Could be birth. This, this deck, it's a Marseille deck, and it says birth. Two of Cups becoming one, unity. Some, someone's coming into union with their divine partner. You do have passion and romance waiting for you here. Ten of Swords. The worst is over. Air sign, energy, Aquarius, Gemini, Libra. Somebody's been mentally stressed, anguished. 
They're done. They feel backstabbed and betrayed, but the worst is over. It's time for a new beginning. It's a 10. 10 is an ending. After every ending comes a new beginning. You could be meeting somebody completely new or reuniting with your divine partner here. Someone who could have betrayed you. It's the Emperor, Divine Masculine Energy, the Emperor, Aries Energy. Um, this man is large and in charge. He's a businessman, CEO, father, the patriarch of the family. He can be old-fashioned and stubborn. Um, he could also be Capricorn or possibly a Taurus. Um, this person, um, is very traditional, old school, stubborn. They might be a bit narcissistic and manipulative, but this is stability and steadiness coming into the, to your life now. If you've been hurt in love, backstabbed, betrayed, feeling like chopped liver, well, somebody likes chopped liver. Somebody is looking at you like you are prime rib, honey. The worst is over. He's like, I have my staff in my hand. <laughs> You're looking mighty fine. <laughs> Somebody wants to wife you or husband you. They're, they're large and in charge. This person is very traditional. It's your ideal divine masculine, ideal partner, soulmate here. Four is the number of stability. You need a ten of pentacles here. This is tradition, um, family, money, resources, um, long-term abundance, long-term committed relationship, um, understanding that, you know, you're, you have all the riches, not only um, monetary and physical and material wealth, but spiritual and emotional wealth here. Somebody is now wanting to offer that. They want commitment. They want stability. They want a stable long-term commitment. There may have been a third party that somebody was betrayed by and hurt by. But someone now, is they took their power back. This emperor stands in his power. He takes his power back. He's in control. And now he's done with the pity party. He wants to reunite with this charming and beautiful goddess here, the goddess of love, Venus energy. Could be an empress. On the bottom, you've got the page of swords. Somebody might be spying. There's gonna be some, some small communication coming in. This person may have acted immature. There might have been gossip, rumors, spying going on. Somebody was manipulating hurt somebody with some harsh communication. But now, if they were coming in like a page, they're coming in like an emperor now, they grew up. Someone learned learning how to communicate. Um, but they're they're spying, they're watching. They're they're watching you from uh, behind the scenes underneath that you've got the two of swords trying to make a decision because they don't have enough information, so they're spying to see, you know, because someone is very seductive. Somebody's watching them from a distance. And um, there's been some conflict. Um, they're worried about what other people think. Um, somebody might be turning a blind eye to the jealousy, gossip, rumors, and interference. Um, there might have been no communication. There might have been uh, some type of petty argument here. And then underneath that, you've got the Ten of Wands. Another Ten. So you got the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands. This is the end of a burdensome cycle, the end of the pressure, the stress, the petty arguments, the silent treatment, the games, the baloney, the gossip, and the rumors. Laying down those wands and laying down the swords. You've got three tens here. That's 30. 
Three is um, alignment, mind, body, and spirit, and a new beginning um, coming in here that you've manifested. Um, somebody wants to reunite after there was some type of an argument here. There might have been spying gossip rumors. Someone was giving someone the silent treatment. They're spying now, trying to see if it's a good time to come in. They might come in trying to be all seductive. And they're coming in with their cup here. You've got the page of cups here, messages of love. An apology, a heartfelt apology. Flirting. This means flirting with the idea of coming back to reunite after... Maybe uh, the interference of a jealous outside third party that led to a lot of conflict, stress, betrayal, backstabbing, burden. Okay, somebody's put in, they've put in a lot of work and passion into this connection. But it's done. The worst is over. We're going to clarify these major arcanas here for you, my beautiful cappies. Somebody's spying, they're making a decision, they're changing, they, they now are going to man up, come forward with a lot of passion, but also with, from the heart, wanting to reunite. They might come off as very flirty, trying to seduce. You're going to have to use your common sense and discernment whether or not to accept this person's offer or let them back in your life. Somebody took their power back, laid down the law here. Clarify seduction, passion, and romance. Await for my Capricorns, please, spirit. Somebody's really, really worried here. Nine of Swords. And you already have ten swords here. So it's the end of all of the stress, worry, anguish. Somebody might be worried that this person is, is not for real. They're feeling that they might be um, emotional. Somebody might have been emotionally manipulating somebody, toying with somebody's feelings before, and somebody's afraid that, you know, that they're going to be non-committal, they still might be a little bit leery that there's a third party lurking about. Um, but it's also the end because you already have ten swords. The worst is over. Somebody's coming in like an emperor and they do want a solid, stable, long-term commitment. They, they are going to come in correct. But again, you have to use your discernment. This message isn't for every single person watching. Clarify the emperor. For Capricorn. Yep, Page of Pentacles. You got three pages here. You could be dealing with someone with earth, air, and water in their chart. This is a solid offer that you can trust. It's going to start out small, like a coffee date or just getting together. They might offer you a small gift along with this heartfelt apology. They may have chosen a special gift to show their true intentions. They might be spying, you know, to kind of gauge when to come in with this. You're not going to see it coming. Somebody wants to bury the hatchet after a, a horrible time of some petty arguments and conflict, gossip, drama, interference, and you now they want to invest. And it's going to start out small and lead to something strong. Someone is self-made. If you own your own business, you started out small you learned a lot, um, you have a special gift or talent, and it's growing into a, an empire. With You're going to have long-term abundance. For, so if anybody's single, you don't have anybody, but you're worried about money, money looks great here for you guys. Um, Smee's going to make us an offer to invest in this connection, and it's going to grow. And there's going to be a renewal of this love connection and they're going to be very flirty and seductive. This They might make you an offer you can't refuse. 
And on the bottom of the clarifying deck, you've got the Four of Wands Twin Flame Energy. This is my 1111 card, Fire Energy, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. They want to level up and take this connection to the next level. So you, they'll probably ask you out on a date. And it's going to start out small. And it's going to level up and lead to long term, a long-term stable and committed relationship. Possibly marriage, but it doesn't have to be. For some of you, you don't need a piece of paper to prove that you love someone to be able to commit to them. Um, they're going to level up here and they want to build this connection on a strong and passionate and spiritually um, guided connection. If you've been struggling for the last 10 years of your life, things are going to turn around. You're completing, making a lot of, um, closing out a lot of cycles here, learning those lessons and starting all over now on a solid foundation after taking control of a situation or taking your power back. Again, it could be you or the other person. Let's get an advice message for you, Cappy. I get an advice message for my Capricorns and love. Please, Spirit, thank you. Again, if you'd like to book a private reading with me, the link to my website is down below. Please go through my website. Don't email me everything you need to know about booking a reading and what I offer is on my website. It's a one-stop shop. It's just I get hundreds of emails every week and I, I don't have time to read every single one and I don't want to, you know, miss your email. So if you're trying to book a reading, go through my website. Thank you. Celebration! Somebody is going to be celebrating here this union. And they've gone through a lot of changes and growth here. Butterflies represent change, metamorphosis, and growth. Spiritual growth. Okay. But there's, gonna, there's some celebration coming up. You might run into this person at a party or while you're out with your friends or something. And you're going to get back together. Okay. Let's grab a couple love messages for my cappies, please, Spirit. Some of you have been waiting for a very long time for this person to show up and make an offer. Somebody's been waiting a long time for someone to ask them out on a date, and they're going to be celebrating. They're like, finally, because they've been so stressed out over this. And if this is someone new... It's going to start out small. Okay, just take your time and enjoy the connection. Stay open to it. Let nature take its course. Because this could be, could be your person showing up finally. And they're going to want what you want. Celebration again. Soon you will be celebrating wonderful news with your love. So you have two celebration cards here. You're going to be like clinking beer bottles or champagne glasses and celebrating. This union, wow, that's gorgeous. Protection. The universe is keeping your love connection safe. This person is meant for you, and it's protected and guided by spirit. On the bottom, you've got sweetness. Patience is now required. Relax and enjoy the sweetness of life. Let the universe take care of the details. Spirit's got your back here. They are handling it now. Spirit has stepped in, and they are going to take this connection the rest of the way. You've done everything you can possibly do. Don't worry, okay? Try not to worry. And I know it's easier said than done. I'm guilty. You know, I, I worry a lot. Capricorns in general, 
they worry a lot. They, they worry about stuff that hasn't even happened yet that may never happen. Try to put your mind at ease, Cappy. Especially if you're trying to manifest, you're going to... It's just going to take that much longer to manifest it if you're resisting. Just let spirit handle it. If it's meant to be, this off, this offer will not pass you by. It's coming together very soon here. Okay? Probably within the next month, if not sooner. So just, just enjoy life right now. Enjoy your abundance. Enjoy all the blessings that you have. And um, until next time, be the love, be the light. Take care. Bye-bye.